will go down, the first thing you want to do is activate the emergency response system. So just dial 911 so they will be on the way. And the best thing you can do for them is the compression. So the respiration, the airway, we're not as worried about anymore. But basically, um, after you call, you can start. Because what studies were finding were that people were reluctant to put their hands on these individuals because they were fearful of the mouth to mouth. So we're finding that you could be more helpful by just doing the compression. In my first aid kit in the truck, if you have the air mask. Yeah, you care if it's uh, one you put in your mouth and the other one goes in your mouth. Yeah, pocket mask. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, if you remember and have those resources available, then by all means, you can do the, the, the 30 to 2. But like for the public, it's like, it's harder, but if you remember like opening the airway and then like the skin seal, yeah, like listen, real respiration. But basically what we're trying to teach the community is the best thing they can do is the compression. So my husband has an ACL. Yeah, did you want to try? On a regular person, you're going to go, the depth you're going to go is about half their chest. But for this one, you're going to go until you hear the click. Oh, it's a big one. And luckily 151's a literal right around the corner. Deeper? Deeper? And then if you lock your elbows, it's easier for like just your body mechanics to press. So we're not hearing the click. Make sure you're using oh, the so heel of your hand. No, you're not. Try to use the heel I don't want to break, I don't want to break, break their bones. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. And then you're going to be going much faster, 100 per minute. Perfect. <laughs> and then a few broken ribs is better than no heart pumping. Right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> And then the locked elbows is really going to help you out because you're going to get tired depending on how soon the paramedics can get there. Yeah.